My people believe that if you are invited into a person's home to share a meal, it is sacred. You become family. My name is Tyrell Dakota, and I am a member of the Turtle Mound Band of Chippewa Indians in Belcourt, North Dakota. Growing up on the reservation, we relied on commodities from the U.S. government to live. My favorite was the cheese blocks that we called bricks of gold. It was ironic that something with little nutritional value was named after the most precious metal. Being the largest tribe in North Dakota and put on a small reservation, we became dependent on those foods. We couldn't hunt or fish or grow our traditional foods. Now my tribe has one of the highest rates of poverty and food insecurity in the country. I watch my people struggle with type two diabetes, depression, alcohol and drug addiction, and even suicide as a result of our situation. Our community center has held more funerals than it has celebrations. Still, we always came together over food and provided for each other with dignity. I was 19 years old when I left Belcourt to join the military, one of the few ways out of poverty for us. 10 years in, a car accident ended my career. I returned home, but not in the way I had imagined. I had no money, no food. I used alcohol for comfort. There was so much shame. I was at rock bottom when I went to the Turtle Mountain Chippewa Food Pantry for the first time. I saw how it was a center for our people, bringing together the old and young through food. I felt connected to the community and found new sense of purpose. It changed everything. I quit drinking and I started volunteering. Soon I was dreaming about ways to make an even bigger impact. My dream came true when I was able to start my own food pantry, the heart of the Turtle Mountain. My favorite part is the mobile food pantry, where we deliver fresh produce to members of my tribe. Seeing the kids eating an orange or an apple, that gives me hope. During these deliveries, my people ask how they can help, how they can become part of this movement. That also gives me hope. And the community center I talked about earlier, we now offer programs to keep our young off of drugs. It's becoming a place of rejuvenation, an opportunity for people to build a path out of poverty. Through this work, I'm using my voice to advocate to lawmakers. For example, if elders in my community get a small raise in their social security, they no longer qualify for commodities. They lose the same amount or more in their SNAP benefits. On my visits to Washington, my people rely on me to tell their stories, and I am honored to do that. I am also making connections with other tribes to see how we can help all our people together. And back home, I'm building a coalition of food pantries across North Dakota. I hope to see you there. Miigwech.